It's time to check in with our doctor from our West Cancer Watch. Our Andy Manis is at West Cancer Center sharing their groundbreaking trials for breast cancer patients. Research is a huge pillar in cancer care, and at West Cancer Center and Research Institute, clinical research is what sets them apart from other centers in the Mid-South. The American Cancer Society estimates over 290,000 new breast cancer diagnoses in 2022 alone, and over two-thirds will initially choose breast conserving surgery, also known as a partial mastectomy or lumpectomy. Dr. Richard Gilmore, a breast oncology surgeon at Margaret West Comprehensive Breast Center, is here today to talk about a new investigational imaging tool that may allow breast surgeons to identify cancer in real time while operating. Dr. Gilmore, thank you for joining us this afternoon to talk about this exciting new device when it comes to breast conserving surgery. Um, I know that you guys were one of the first to participate in the Mid-South in this new study by Perimeter. So let's kind of talk a, a little bit about the trial itself. Yes, thank you for having me, Andy. This is great to be here. Um, we were very excited to be the first in the region and uh, actually the country to be, participate in the Perimeter trial, uh, the first clinical trial site. And so, um, just to kind of put this trial into context, based on the numbers that you were refer referring to earlier, um, of those patients who are undergoing breast conserving surgery or lumpectomy or partial mastectomy, um, about 15 to 20 percent of those patients have to go back to the operating room for another surgery because their surgeon didn't get clear margins at the time of the initial surgery. And so what the perimeter trial allows us to use is something called optical coherence tomography, OCT technology with AI imaging assist. And the aim of this is to help surgeons be able to identify those positive margins in the operating room and help potentially avoid a second surgery. I always like to tell my patients that, you know, as great as breast surgeons are, we don't have microscopic vision. And so we rely on our pathologists to look at those specimens over the following week or so. Um, and so perimeter aims to help us uh, get a little bit closer to avoiding a second, possibly unnecessary surgery. So that's a little bit about what phase one looks like. Let's talk a little bit about what the trial looks like when it moves to phase two. So phase one, a phase one study is a study looking at the safety of a technology or a treatment. Uh, whereas phase two uh, looks at the efficacy or the effectiveness of a particular treatment. And so this trial being a phase two pivotal trial looks at is optical coherence tomography with AI imaging assist effective in allowing breast surgeons to possibly avoid a second surgery and be more likely to get clear margins uh, while that patient is in the operating room. Well, let's kind of back this conversation up just a little bit. Why do some women choose the more um, conservative approach versus a total mastectomy when there's a chance that they could have to go back for a second operation due to cancer left behind? Right, that's a great question, Andy. So um, really, uh, we learned about 50 years ago, really, that from some high quality uh, clinical trials that were done um, that when we look at lumpectomy and radiation or breast conserving surgery, partial mastectomy um, versus total mastectomy, uh, we realize that when you compare those two, the survival between both groups is exactly the same. And so we realized we weren't saving any woman's life by removing their whole breast as opposed to only removing part of it and giving radiation with that. And when you couple that with the fact that mastectomy is, uh, is more surgery, it's a more extensive surgery, it has a risk for a higher complication rate, it has a risk for uh, a longer recovery time, and it has the risk for actually multiple additional surgeries if the woman wants to get reconstruction with plastic surgery. And so taking all this together, uh, many women choose to try to save their breast when they have the uh, option to do so. Well, let's talk a little bit about eligibility. What are some of the criteria that someone has to have to participate in this clinical trial? Yes, I mean, the great news with this trial is that um, it has, has a pretty broad eligibility criteria. So it's really women who are over the age of 18 
um, who have ductal breast cancer, so that can be stage zero, um, ductal carcinoma in situ, all the way up to stage three, invasive ductal cancer, that are candidates for breast conserving therapy. They have to be candidates uh, for lumpectomy or partial mastectomy. Um, patients who have lobular breast cancer, patients who are pregnant or lactating, patients who have had breast cancer before on that side, um, or patients who have stage four or metastatic breast cancer are not eligible for the trial. Well, Dr. Gilmore, I want to thank you for your time this afternoon. Again, a very exciting new clinical trial going on here at West Cancer Center. If you want to know more about this clinical trial or if you want to schedule an evaluation, just visit westcancercenter.org or call 901-692-9600. Doctor, thank you so much. Thank you, Andy. Wow, that is awesome. Some amazing things are happening right here in our community. And I'm so glad that West Cancer Center lets us facilitate to share their discoveries with all of us. 